Good afternoon and welcome to this service of blessing when we offer to God those who are represented by these round balls and these Christmas tree decorations. Here in the benefice of Lyndhurst and Emery Down and Minstead, we sought over Christmas to connect with those in our communities um, in a way that will make it possible for them to have a space to reflect and to know the grace and comfort of God. Even though we can't get into our buildings for worship, we here in Minstead designated the Lich Gate as a place for reflection, for calm and for healing. And we invited members of the public and visitors to the church in our community to write names on these roundels. And these roundels, each of them represent a prayer, a name of those on someone's heart. Just as we gather today, we gather to thank God for all those who remembered loved ones over Christmas and wrote their names as an act of remembrance and thanksgiving and tied them to the Lich Gate. Over 70 rambles were completed. And then in support of the friends of the Lindhurst surgery, unable this year to put their tree in their prayer tree in St Michael's Church in Lindhurst. With the support of the uh, Working Men's Club, they were able to uh, put a Christmas tree on the High Street and those visiting the High Street in the village um, were encouraged to write prayers for their loved ones, to remember those uh, who they uh, have lost, loved and lost, as well as to pray for um, our community and for the world, as this one does here. So a wonderful response and a reminder to us that there are many at this time who are hurting, who are in pain, who are suffering, who are perhaps lonely and isolated, more because of the loss of a loved one than of the pandemic itself. And of course there may well be those named on these roundels and on these cards who have been lost to the pandemic too. And so today, a simple service of blessing where we offer to God uh, all those who have been remembered on the Lich Gate and on the Christmas tree uh, in, uh, in Lindhurst, on the Lich Gate here in Minstead. In a moment, we're going to light three candles as part of our uh, blessing today. And I'm going to lead you through uh, some simple words. But as we gather today to thank God for those we have loved and lost, those we continue to love, who are still very much part of our lives, but who are no longer physically here with us, I encourage you to perhaps think of those in your own family, in your own circle of friends and your neighbours, and to remember those perhaps not included in those names here on the altar today. We begin with a prayer. Generous and gracious God, we look to you for compassion and thank you for your presence here now. Overwhelmed by our burdens, we can easily forget that you never leave us alone and that your love never fails. By coming together, albeit on the internet today, we find assurance and comfort in knowing that we do not suffer the longest night alone. You have given us strength to live in our darkness. Turn us to reach out to those whose night is long, and may we bring your healing presence in their lives, in their lives, by bringing them your compassion and your comfort. In Jesus' name we pray. And so we light our first candle this afternoon. We light our first candle in remembrance of those we have lost.
we light our second candle in remembrance of what we have lost in losing them. And we light our third candle as we pray for ourselves as we seek to live with loss. These rambles and indeed these names and the prayers that they represent as we offer them to God will speak of those we have lost. in losing those we love. We feel perhaps the loss of other things too, the loss of companionship, maybe the loss of confidence, the loss of support and help, maybe even the loss of laughter and the love of life. The loss of a smiling face, of helping hands and of feet that walk with us through our days. And all of that weighs heavily on our hearts. And so our third candle recognises that we ourselves can feel a sense of loss in our mourning. And that weight of loss at times weighs heavily on our hearts. And so we thank God for the opportunity, for the space that the Lich Gate and the Christmas tree gave as a ministry to those who feel lost themselves, who have lost so much in the loss of a loved one. We're grateful to Fiona for her creativity, not just in suggesting this idea of tying rambles to the lich gate as acts of remembrance and organising the box and the pens and the roundels and all those things that uh, needed to happen to ensure that this ministry could be as helpful and as valuable as it was. And Fiona was not alone, there were others who supported her and worked together in this. But Fiona has written um, a beautiful poem um, which uh, I'm going to read to you now. And I just ask you to just to sit quietly and to reflect upon these words. Beautiful they are. The poem is called Memories. I remember you when winter winds blow and sun sparkles like diamonds on new fallen snow. I remember you in the pouring rain as I watched the drops dance on the cold window pane. I remember you when spring flowers are in bloom and the sweet scent of primroses fills the whole room. Oh, I remember you as bright clouds sail by, chasing their swift shadows across the blue sky. I remember you as long summer days pass with the humming of bees and the smell of cut grass. I remember you in music and in song, though I wipe away tears kept hidden for so long. I remember you when leaves turn to gold and the rich colours of autumn slowly unfold. I remember you in the still of the night 
as I lay wide awake in the lonely moonlight. I remember you by this ancient yew tree, while the robin on the lich gate sings with joy for me. I remember you. And I know as I pray that we will be together again one day. I remember you. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, I would have told you that. I would have told you that I go to prepare a place for you. Hmm. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you're going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Let us pray. God of mercy, Lord of life, you have made us all in your image to reflect your truth and light. We give you thanks for all those remembered here on these rambles and cards, for the grace and mercy they received from you, for all that was good in their lives, and for the memories of each we treasure today. God of love, your mighty power brings joy out of grief and life out of death. Look in mercy on all who mourn and give them patient faith in times of darkness. Strengthen them with the knowledge of your love. Father in heaven, we thank you because you have made us in your image and given us gifts in mind, body and spirit. We thank you for all these who meant so much to us. As we honour their memory, make us more aware that you are one and you are the one from whom every good and perfect gift comes including eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Father God, we lift them every heart expressed in these roundels to you. We lift to you every life that feels a sense of loss. Who continue to grieve over who they have lost and what they have lost. Surround all with heavy hearts with your love and your light. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And as we hold the names of those remembered on the false Christmas tree in the High Street, names written at a time of approaching celebration, even in pandemic, when families could be together and speak with one another, when the absence of loved ones was so keenly felt, 
We pray especially then for all who were and remain lonely and isolated, for whom the loss of a loved one made a difficult Christmas even more unbearable. Hold in your hearts all whom these prayers represent. Comfort all who mourn and grant life and hope to all who struggle even to reach the end of the day. Knowing that these roundels are so precious we have struggled, I think, it's fair to say, in knowing what to do with them. Clearly we can't keep them hanging on the, on the lich gate uh, forever. And we want to uh, continue this um, prayer initiative during the year. And so we've removed then these names that were placed over Christmas and the New Year, these roundels, uh, in readiness for um, the placing of new roundels um, uh, in, uh, in February. These um, will be sensitively and, um, and carefully um, placed in the churchyard uh, where they can uh, decay quite naturally uh, and return to the soil from whence um, the wood came. It really is very moving just to stand above these roundels and to see the many names and prayers reflecting, expressing, feeling, longing, gratitude and thankfulness. We continue to hold in our hearts and to lift before God all who mourn in our benefice, here in the diocese, of, in, in the uh, parish of, uh, of Minstead, and in the parish of Emory Down, Alan Green and Bank, and in the parish of Lyndhurst. Our ministry, our gift to all in pain in our community is to offer the very consolation of God and there I suggest to be as Christ to you who wept upon hearing the news of Lazarus his good friend that he had died and who himself wept in the agony of his own death but in his resurrection and in the resurrection of Lazarus himself, he gives hope for death is not the end. It's the end of a chapter. It's the end of a time. But through faith in Christ, we continue in a new way to live healed, Without pain, sorrow, the Apostle John writes in the book of Revelation, no more sorrow, no more tears, no more crying, no more death, no more pain. Living with the eternal comfort of the one true living God, in whose name we then pray a blessing. May the eternal God bless and keep us, guard our bodies and save our souls, and bring us safe to the heavenly country, our eternal home, where Father, Son and Holy Spirit reign, one God, for ever and ever. And now, my dear friends, may the blessing of God, who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you in your hearts and in your homes, 
with those you love, but from whom are separate, now and for evermore. Amen. So in February there will be um, a new box of roundels um, in the Lich Gate um, with pens and uh, these roundels which we uh, are grateful to the study centre here in Minstead um, for letting us have. And we will give you the opportunity then to um, place roundels to remember loved ones um, through the year on uh, birthdays, on anniversaries, moments of significance to you as an individual and as family and as a community. We will leave the roundels on the Lich Gate for three months and there will be dates on the information given when the roundels will be removed and carefully disposed of in the churchyard in readiness for another three months and we'll keep going through the year and then in November again we shall be uh, looking forward to uh, as it were, decorating the, the Lich Gate beautifully with lights as this year and um, encouraging people at Christmas time to come and to remember those they love but have lost. So, um, information will be available on the Lich Gate very soon and we trust that this will continue to be a blessing to you, uh, your loved ones and your friends. My name is uh, David Potterton, I am the priest in charge uh, of uh, the church here in Minstead of All Saints, of the parish church in Emery Down, Christ Church and the parish church in Lindhurst, being St Michael's. I look forward to speaking with you again at some point, but be assured of our continued prayers as you journey through the darkness of your loss, praying that you may know light, hope and even joy in the days to come.